Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your intuitive forecast for the month of April for Taurus specifically, or Taurus rising, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first card that I have pulled up for you are the card of being bold. The next card is from the Nature Oracle and it's Redwood and Ancient Teachings as well as Sunrise and Sunset. And from the Rider Waite, I have Three of Wands for my Taurus, King of Wands, and my Six of Wands. Now I've been seeing the Six of Wands lately. For those of you guys that are subscribed to the YouTube channel, you know that I've been getting visions of the Six of Wands. So it's interesting that the Taurus is the, is the sign of the Zodiac that's receiving this message. The main thing that it is that I'm getting from this is there is a calling and it is specifically coming from within. It's coming from your visions. It's coming from these signs that are subtle, but maybe not so subtle. Maybe like repeating numbers or repeating animal guides or repeating things that it is that you're seeing. Maybe it's coming through your dreams. Maybe it's your intuition, but it's, it's literally coming from within. And this is so important because this is why it's really important for you to be bold and assertive in this. And you have a lot of energy around this boldness. King of Wands for you, whether you're male or female, it's still showing how assertive and dominant and confident and bold you have to be with you know, what it is that you're seeing and what it is that's unfolding from these areas of your life that are kind of passing out and, pa and, and coming in. So anyways, so when I see this message that is this um, intuitive um, triggering, this intuiting, intuitive spark that comes from within, I want you to remember that you are 50% human and then 50% divine. So you're 50% human and 50% spiritual. So when your spirit, when your heart, when your soul, when your gut is and your intuition is being triggered, it's because it's coming from the divine. That's a message, a signal showing you from a, a super, supernatural world that the physical doesn't always see and doesn't always experience. But um, there's this message that's coming to you that will tr that is for for you to receive and for for you to listen to in order to guide your next steps that need to be bold and assertive. It may not make make sense to others, but again, intuitively, it's something that you've been feeling these signs, these signals that are on the horizon, literally on the horizon, that are coming up for you for the month of April. Now, because you are receiving these you know, intuitive hunches. And that's why it's very important that you practice daily on developing your intuitive gifts and practice your psychic gifts and your intuition. That way you can strengthen it more and more over time um, and continue to keep it strong. Just because it was strong when you were 13, 16, 19, 30, 40, doesn't mean that it's gonna stay that way. It's just like anything, it starts to lose its strength if you, if you stop working with it. So when you are intuitively called to do something and when you're getting these signs and these signals and your intuition is speaking to you, that is from the divine. It's speaking to you through your gut and it's speaking to you through your third eye, through your subconscious, through your subconscious when you're sleeping and then also um, through signs and signals that you can actually see in your environment. But the physical body, the human body, is just as important as a spiritual body because with, without the physical body, you can't bring something to fruition because spirit, at the end of the day, is just spirit. It needs a tool, it needs a vessel. And that's what the physical part of you will do. It works to hear the call of spirit, to hear the call of the divine, or hear the call of your intuition. And then that's when you make the decision, am I gonna do this or am I not gonna do this? So that's why it's so important for you to be very bold and confident and assertive with yourself and with your visions and your dreams for the month of April. Because again, you're seeing signs, you're seeing signals. And when you start, when you're ignoring those or when you're asking, is this really what it is that you want me to do, universe? Is this really the path that it is that you wanna take? that you want me to take, that's when they start showing you some signs around you, again, repeating numbers or whatever it is that the sign is that acts as confirmation for you, maybe even confirmation by watching these my videos or whatever. But either way, that's you know spirit working to give you all the tools, but 
at the end of the, at the end of the day, it is up to you 100% to take that first step in order to, you know, open walk into this new this new path, walk into this new doorway. There is definitely something on the horizon here that's going to bring success and joy for you and maybe something that it is that has been working you know to develop over time but again it requires a person i.e. you who is assertive and bold and knows that okay i deserve more super supernatural things are happening around me i'm going to respond to this call by being bold and confident in myself this month and the other thing too is that taurus you can be one of the most stubborn signs within the entire zodiac which i respect i think that that's a good thing because it can be it can be equal good as it can be equal bad so for this i do see you needing to kind of you know, branch out a little bit and do more. That's always what we see with the Three of Wands. It wants to branch out. And with the King of Wands, there's always this need, this spark. Granted, this King of Wands could represent another person that it is that you're connecting with, but at the same time, there's a lot of energy around you and your cards for the week of April, or I'm sorry, for the month of April that are asking you and calling you to be bold and assertive and confident, especially if you are dealing with the King of Wands, because you want to match energy. The King of Wands knows what it is that they want. They know what it is that they're striving for, what it is that they see for themselves. They don't settle for less, and that's ultimately what I see for you. And more than that, they're adventurous and they're not scared. Or if they are scared, they're going to do it regardless because the risk is worth the reward. The other thing, Taurus, is that, that if you are scared, remember that some risks are definitely worth taking and that if your decision is one that comes out of intuitively knowing that it is for you, you feel it within your gut and in your intuition, you're never going to regret it and the experience was there for a reason, okay? So that's ultimately what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope that that makes sense. Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. That way you get um, more videos like this. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram if you're not already. And turn on your notifications so that you can see all of my other intuitive messages that I'm constantly sharing here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.